pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is the consent, uh, approval of the agenda, pleasure of the committee on the agenda. Second. Motion by Mr. DeMonica, second by Mr. Salvatore. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? And that motion carries four to zero with Mr. Duffy, Mr. Fiorello, and Mrs. Teal absent this evening. Next item on the agenda is the consent agenda, approval of minutes from school committee town council pre-budget meeting from 323, regular meeting 324, special meeting for budget 328. Also, we have executive session from 324, executive session from 328. We have enrollment report for April, school police report for March, and residency truancy report from April. Pleasure of committee on the consent agenda. Chair, make a motion to approve. Motion by Mr. DeMonica. Second, Madam Chair. Second by Mr. Salvatore. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? That motion carries 4-0. Next item, report out of executive session meeting on 414. There were no votes taken. I need a motion to seal the minutes of the executive session. Make a motion to seal. Motion by Mr. Denon. Second, Madam Chair. Second Madame by Chair. Mr. Salvatore. <laughs> We're only four people today. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? And that motion carries 4-0. Next item is student recognition. Mr. Mitchell, superintendent's report. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, as you may recall, uh, one of our students, Oliver Doyle, um, won a uh, national photography contest. He was one of five recipients of this um, award. And he recently uh, um, was able to go on a trip to Armenia uh, for a week-long workshop with a National Geographic photographer. I'm sort of thinking that, you know, Oliver is going to be a National Geographic photographer someday. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, so he was um, in Armenia for a week, and he has a presentation um, for us to see. So we're really excited. Um, for all of us to share with us um, photographs from, from that experience. So without further ado, Oliver, uh, please, nice to see you, welcome. We look forward to your presentation. Yeah. All right. We're gonna move, Oliver, do you wanna grab the mic? Okay, do, do we need him to use the mic? Do, do you need that for the video or?
test. Oliver, they, they say a uh, picture paints a thousand words, and that is so true. I, I know that I have a couple of questions I want to ask, but um, Madam Chair, why don't you go first, ladies first. Well, you have some questions prepared. Mine, will, mine are going to come to me once everyone starts asking their questions. So my, uh, you know, watching um, all of your work um, triggered a lot of questions in my mind. And one is, well, first of all, why Armenia? Um, well, that's just where um, John Stanmeyer, the runner of the workshop, um, he was there on assignment um, the like la last year, around the time that I was there. Um, and he just fell in love with the place, and that's just where he decided to have his workshop. Um, I mean, so based on, on the week that you spent there, what was the most or the or the, or or the most memorable um, things that you remember about the trip. So the one thing that is going to stay with me probably forever is just the uh, how how nice the the people there were, how how welcoming they were to just like outsiders. Um, all the pictures that you saw in the slideshow that were like inside people's homes. Um, neither me nor my translator had any clue who they were. Um, we would just like either see them on the street or like even knock on their door and they would invite us in and they would like they, they would feed us they would talk to us they would let me take pictures they, they were so extremely welcoming and and nice and I mean it was just kind of like comparing that to the kind of reaction you would get if you would try to do that here it was kind of just like the the contrast between that that I, I really um, it really stood out for me madam chair I just have one more I'm sure I'll think of others but I don't want to we, we, I know we have an agenda to get to. Um, uh, how much time did you, um, were you able to spend with John? And I'm sure that you must um, have learned something from him. Like, was there something that stands out in your mind that you, that you learned from him? Um, so to answer your first question, um, anytime you weren't out with, like, on your own, taking pictures, you were with John, either editing, you're like um, sorting through your own work, or you were like looking over his shoulder as he was doing it with somebody else, or you were just like hanging out with him. Like it wasn't like a, okay, this is your set time to like see John. He, he, he really um, made it so that it felt like he was like one of you, one of the participants in the workshop. And it was really like he, he wasn't only your teacher, but he was more like your friend too, just like somebody who was there. Um, so really just like any time that I wasn't out, he was, he was there either in the room or I was interacting with them. It was very fluid, I think. Was there something that you learned from him that you didn't know before the, um, this trip? I, I learned how to, how to look at my own work with a like, um, non-subjective uh, eye, like, like to, to look at it from like a completely um, taking, taking all emotion out of like, my own photographs and just looking at them as photographs because there were some photos that like I really loved, but um, somebody who like wasn't there when I took it, they would be like, oh, like what's the big deal? Like why, why is that so great? Um, just to like, um, he called it like letting go of, of like what you think you like um, and just trying to look at it from like somebody else's completely different point of view when like you're, when you're trying to decide if, like, if it's like a, a, a good photograph or a, a not so good like probably won't go in the final presentation photograph. Mr. Salvatore. Oliver, excellent pictures. Thank you. Um, a couple of questions. I'm curious, uh, how many pictures did you take in total? Um, I think it was around 2,000 something, 2,147, something like that. So th this, <laughs> this selection is, is your personal favorites? Um, those are the ones that um, myself, along with John, uh, narrowed down. Um, to that they were gonna go into the final presentation to like fit the theme that I was working with. Um, so I was working with the theme uh, landscapes and Armenian culture. Um, so out of like all the pictures that I took, those were like the, the I think it was like 45 that like, we, we narrowed down that were like the, the, the definite, like that, that fit with the, with the theme and that were gonna go in the final presentation. So you took pictures every day? Every single day. Give me a, just not, not a lot of time, but give me a quick synopsis of 
of what the your routine was there. I'm kind of curious. Um, so I would get up and eat breakfast, and then we would meet. My translator would meet us at the hotel, um, and we would probably leave by like 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, and we would just like he he would have some places like oh maybe we want to go here today or go here. There was like there really wasn't like an, an itinerary. Um, so then we would just kind of go wherever um, and get back around six seven o'clock. Uh, eat dinner and then we would edit uh, I would sit and edit with John for a few hours and probably <laughs> roll into bed around 2 a.m. <laughs> you know very long days but excellent thank you I'm, I'm very excited for you I mean this this is a great experience yes, it really I, was you, know, you captured it really well and, and you continue to follow your passion anyone else Mr. Dennett yeah can you talk about the um, uh, there was an article in the paper about you can you, can you talk about the the tooth party <laughs> Um, so the tooth party, um, it was going on when uh, my translator and I decided to go to a village and the family that he had talked to beforehand that was going to like kind of be our guide in the village um, just so happened to be having a, a tooth party that day. So basically it's when a baby gets their first tooth in their mouth. Um, they would have this like really weird ritual where they would like take popcorn and candy and like sprinkle it over the baby's head. And the baby was just kind of like sitting there, like had no clue what was going on. But they were all, all the parents were like happy and excited. And um, then that was like another thing where um, there was like a balloon. There were like multiple balloons uh, in front of the baby. And whichever one she picked up first would be like, um, there was like a message inside of it. And whatever would be on the inside would be like her, her profession. So she just happened to pick up one that said that she was going to be a teacher. Um, I don't know how true they like, how, how like they follow through with that. Um, but I just thought that was a pretty cool little thing that they do. Um, but apparently it's very common. I thought it was the weirdest thing. <laughs> and did you, um, did you meet anyone there that you're still in touch with? Um, well, I'm still in touch with my translator uh, through Facebook, but most of the other people that I, that I met with, they don't really have that kind of technology to be able to communicate like, across the world. Um, but there was one family in particular that I spent two days with, um, an old couple, uh, the the husband was a shoemaker and the the mother the mother the, the wife was just kind of like I don't really know what she did I think she was just a stay at home um, but they were probably the 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 poster child poster children for like the hospitality of of Armenia um, they they were like so welcoming they were like oh you're you're like a son to us are you sure you're not Armenian like um, they 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 uh, the first time that I came there they uh, they gave me a um, a can of preserved apricots to, to take home. They're like, share, share this with your mother. Um, this is like Armenian tradition that every time you come to somebody's house, you're supposed to leave with something. And the second time that I went there, which is one of my last days there, um, the, the husband and wife gave me a pair of shoes that, that was just, that they just like had in their house. Um, and it was really touching. Like they, they were, I can't even begin to describe with words how, how nice those people were and how much more time I would have loved to spend with them just kind of like existing in their presence. Will any of your work appear in National Geographic? <laughs> Hopefully one day, but not, not right now. No. I do have a gallery opening though next week, next Thursday at the Sprout Gallery in, um, in Providence. Um, and my slideshow is going to be playing there for a couple hours. And knowing I went to the Ukraine 16 years ago, it was a cultural shock then. Looking at these pictures, it must have been a cultural shock oh, yeah, it totally, it for really us was. to yeah. what you had there. Yeah. Um, it was just pretty, pretty much just seeing how these people lived because it would kind of be compared to in America today, like very impoverished and like poor and like not so well off. But um, they were just completely happy living with what they had like they were so grateful to 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 have what they had they weren't like complaining that they weren't in like a big house or like had nice things they were just making do with what they had and um just everything was kind of just like a culture culture shock but i'm glad i got to i got to see it so what's next i don't know <laughs> i don't know i'm still trying to figure that out myself yeah you, you have an exceptional talent, and, and I, I really admired reading the story in the paper, as Mr. Dunnan said, about the tooth party, but also the mean cows and the cows mm -hmm. that bite if yeah. you get too close. I love the fact that, that your pictures did tell a, had a story around them, and you could imagine the gentleman 
pointing at you saying, you know, no, and somehow figuring out that those cows would bite you. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I still wanted to get closer to them. Of course I, you did, because you're eight, I, 18. <laughs> I didn't. I was like, oh, they're just cows. Cows are nice. They, they don't bite. Well, you're, you're a remarkable talent, and we're very proud that you shared your work with us, and Anytime. we do hope you'll come again. And <laughs> do share the information about your, um, uh, your gallery night with Mr. Mitchell yes, so that the course. committee can have that information. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank, thank you again. Okay. Thank you. Dad seems kind of proud, too. Yes. <laughs> nice job. Must have been hard to let him go to Armenia. Yeah. Yeah, long flight, indeed. Madam Chair, can I just mention one other thing? I, I would be remiss. I, I know that you all uh, probably read about this in the paper as well, that the Cumberland High School Clef Singers were named grand champions at this, um, as the top scoring choir at the recent Orlando Fest Music Festival in Orlando, Florida. And I uh, had a chance to visit with Janita Ducharme, the choral director. And when I went to see her to congratulate her, um, coincidentally, she was, they were, uh, she had the choir and they were they were practicing so I had a chance to let them all know how proud we were of them and this is a busy time of year for them a lot of lot of activities end of year activities but I thought it would be a good idea um, at some point before the end of the school year if possible we could get them in and maybe they could um, do a song for us a couple songs. or a couple tunes yeah thank you madam chair great plan I find at graduation when they sing, you want them to sing more. They sing a song or two and you think, that's it? I'd like to hear some more. So, yeah, That's true. Back in line to get your diploma. Next item, uh, Chairperson's Report, School Town Collaboration. I have no report this evening on that. Um, next item is payment of bills from standing committees. Mr. DeModica. Madam Chair, we uh, did meet tonight. The uh, business manager was out sick, but... We, uh, on a two to zero vote, we approved the payment of bills of $1,358,699.70, and I would recommend passage. Mr. DeModica moves passage of the payment of bills. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Denon. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? And that motion carries 4 0. And then fiscal management subcommittee update. Madam Chair, we did uh, have some items on for discussion tonight. One was uh, girls hockey. They came in front of us asking for funding and I had mentioned to the girls, I had spoken with a couple of the members and I'm hoping to convince everyone here to support their uh, admittance of a uh, varsity girls hockey team um, somewhere in the next few meetings or so. So I'll bring that to your attention and see if we can get it on the agenda. Um, we discussed the Alpha Best contract tonight that uh, was presented to us, and we had some questions. And um, I think what's going to happen here is we're going to go out to um, to bid. We're not. It's not that we're unhappy with our service contractor right now, but they did have a three-year contract, and we have other vendors that have asked us about it. So that will go out for a um, a uh, bid proposal. Um, Another item that came in front of us was uh, to provide electric and for lighting and irrigation at BF Norton um, School. We don't have any information whatsoever other than an email, so that got tabled to our next meeting. And then finally, so Desco came in for the uh, report, monthly report on school lunches. I'm happy to say that the, um, not the profit margin, but the, mon the money that comes back to the district has, has climbed. And uh, the amount of uh, money that's owed to the school district has gone down in regards to those people haven't paid for their lunch. So uh, Sean is keeping a good, good uh, track on it, and I, we're doing well. And that's it. Thank you. Any questions? Next item, Policy and Procedures Subcommittee update. Mr. Denon, I think you're handling this this evening. I am. Thank you. Um, we met on Tuesday night. Uh, all three of us were there. Uh, Mr. Fiorello couldn't be here tonight, so I'm speaking for him. Um, we talked about three policies, and one of which we're going to uh, vote on in a few minutes. Uh, that, that is the J2 student attendance policy. Um, we recommended on a 3-0 to zero vote to bring it to the full committee. 
Um, we, we made a minor change to that policy. We just moved some language from one policy into that policy. There's actually no, no actual change in policy, um, if that makes sense. The other policy was J24, service animals in school. Um, this is a new policy regarding service animals to bring us into compliance with the ADA. And um, we talked about allowing service animals and not uh, therapy animals. We, we talked a lot about the difference between what those are. And basically we're talking about dogs or miniature horses. Is that what they are? Not ponies, horses. Um, so that policy, we have a draft right now, but it's gonna come back to us. Uh, we had some changes that we requested. It's gonna come back at our next meeting. And then finally, we talked about the physical restraint crisis prevention intervention. Crisis prevention intervention. Um, it's a policy that we used to have that was deleted some years ago, and uh, we need to bring it back. Uh, so really, it, we just started talking about it. We, we have the policy that existed a few years ago, but there's no new draft yet, and that will come back to the, uh, to the subcommittee too. That's it. Do you know what the motivation was to bring that back? I think, no, I, 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 don't, I don't remember exactly. Actually, Tina does, maybe. <laughs> Mrs. Thank you. All right, next item, um, Achievement and Communication Subcommittee update. I know we did not meet, um, and we'll be meeting, I think, sometime uh, in April or May, now that the, uh, the budget activities have dwindled down, at least from our end. And then the Budget Task Force update. Um, I have no update except that Mr. Skivone and I have been playing phone tag with one another. Um, we're, we're trying to get the, um, the slide deck to the committee and to the council so that um, we can have some follow-up. Um, and then lastly, comments from the public. Anyone here wish to speak this evening? It's very quiet. Nope, I'm hearing none. We'll move on to the public hearing for reading of policies, um, amended policy for J2 student attendance. Um, and J24 would be a first reading for service animals in school. And I will call the public hearing open at 8.02 for the reading of these policies. Is anyone here needing to speak before, uh, uh, before, uh, for or against these policies? And hearing none, we will call the public hearing closed at almost 8.03 and move on to new business. So discussion and or vote to approve amended policy J2 student attendance. And I think Mr. Dunnan, you had said that this had passed on a three to zero vote. Yes. And there were no language changes. You just moved around some of the pieces. Right, and it, it basically affects, affects only middle school and high school students and it's the social suspension part that's related to attendance. But it's the same language that we've, we're currently working under. Got it. And are you moving passage of the policy? I am moving passage. Thank you, Mr. Dunnan. Second by Mr. Salvatore. Any further discussion? Mr. DeModica. I'm not sure if we can answer this. What happens about the students that have reached the age of majority now on this policy? I mean, I'm looking, saying, contacting the parent guardian to notify. What do we do when the child's 18 years old now? Do they get to make the phone call and say, I'm not coming to that? I, b I believe that there is a, um, a document that uh, must be um, signed by the student when they turn 18 to give permission to their parents um, to um, get any school-related uh, information or any, um, anything related to attendance or discipline or anything else. I mean essentially uh, an adult uh, student has to give permission to their parents so I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have seen that um, that document so um, technically it would be the, the 18 year old that makes the decision <clears throat> all right thank you anyone else so we have a motion and a second all those in favor aye, aye. those opposed, opposed. 
And that motion carries three to one with Mr. DeModica dissenting. Next item on the agenda is discussion and or vote to approve new policy first reading service animals to schools. So we wouldn't be, we'd need one more reading on that. Is that correct? Uh, no, we, we actually tabled it. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. So there'll be no action on yes. that item. And so moving on, we have discussion and or vote to approve resolution SCR 2016-05 school bus legislation revisions. So uh, the, the resolution um, does support House Bill H8005, which permits districts to maintain a registry of students who require busing as per the district transportation policy and which could be used to more cost efficiently provide transportation to its pupils that it is responsible for transporting to schools. And we've also attached um, to this resolution modification changes to 16.221, permitting the school committee to allow parents to opt out of the transportation offered and would allow the school committee to develop policy defining the terms of opting out, which would again support cost efficient and cost effective bus routes. Um, and then just to, to close this out, it says, therefore it be resolved, the Cumberland School Committee respectfully requests that the Rhode Island General Assembly support 2016H8005 with the attached amendments to 16221 and any and all legislative proposals that would permit districts to more cost effectively and cost efficiently provide this transportation to schools. And the, the bill itself, I think, was um, submitted um, with Ms. Representative DeModica as the um, one of the bill sponsors, and that was done through some input from school committee member DeModica um, related to some of the transportation questions and concerns that we've had throughout the last um, couple of years. Uh, one of the big issues that folks have challenged us with is the fact that it seems as though some of our buses are undersubscribed and we're paying a high expense for the the bus in general and can we do it more efficiently. I think we felt by providing some um, changes to the, the statute and providing the ability for us to maintain this registry of students, it would allow us to do um, some um, enrollment or opting out of, of transportation. So I don't know if anyone has any questions or comments um, on this moving forward, but I would, I would need um, a motion to approve it for discussion. Make a motion we approve. Motion by Mr. DeModica. Do I have a second? Second for discussion. Second by Mr. Denon. And any discussion? Mr. DeModica. I'd just like to publicly thank um, Representative Jim McLaughlin for um, filing the bill on our behalf of the not only our school district, but every school district in the state that has to uh, provide busing for children. And we have all these empty buses that go, you know, they don't go out full, I should say, not empty and just give us a way to look how to maybe tweak this busing a little bit and save some money where roughly it's $700 per child to provide them a seat on the bus. And if it doesn't get used, then it's one child that didn't get to use it and it costs us the money to go empty or otherwise. So I'm glad he filed it to the uh, General Assembly. And I'd like to see us um, send this resolution to every school district in the state and ask them to support, our, uh, support it. Thank you. Thank you. So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? And that motion carries 4-0. Next item on the agenda, discussion and or vote to approve the revised school calendar. Mr. Mitchell. <clears throat> Madam Chair, um, the calendar uh, that is before you is just um, revised based on the um, recent school cancellation. Um, so now the last day of school is June 17th. And there was a slight um, change, you know, it would impact uh, end of quarter, end of trimester, those kinds of things. But um, Mrs. Shabbat just essentially pushed everything back for the, the, the number of snow days that we had. So we had three, was it three snow days this year? that sound right? I, be I, think I believe it was three, yes. Yeah. And so we're finished with snow days, <laughs> Mr. Mitchell? Uh, I, I believe so, Madam Chair. 
We're going to hold you to that. Yes. So, um, in order to discuss it, let's have a motion um, to approve the revised school calendar. Make a motion to approve the revised, revised school calendar. Motion by second Mr. Denon, second, second by Mr. Salvatore. Any further questions? Just one, Madam Chair. The yes. um, graduation for June 9th, is that still tentative or can we start booking it on our calendars? You can put it in your calendars. We're locked in. Thank you. So just one change on the calendar, then we could eliminate the tentative at the bottom so if parents know that they can uh, plan for that date. All right, so we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? And that motion carries 4-0. Next item, discussion and or vote to provide electric for lighting and irrigation for the new park behind the BF Norton Elementary School. Mr. DeMotica. Madam Chair, we have no actual resolution for this. Um, this was brought on to us by the town. They would like the school department to provide the lighting for LED lighting and also irrigation for the new park behind BF Norton. Um, I had some questions that I had forwarded to the town and I did not get an answer in regards to um, are there going to be timers that we have to worry about as well? And controllers for the irrigation. I know I have sprinklers and I have a controller inside my my home. So I, I didn't get an answer. And so we uh, voted in finance to table this to our next meeting. And hopefully we can get some answers. I know the town wanted to do this work if it got approved during April vacation, but I don't think that's going to happen. Thank you. Thank you. So there'll be no action this evening. And next item is personnel recommendations. Mrs. Fogel. Good evening. Uh, so I have two retirements for you this evening. Uh, I request the advice and consent of the school committee on the retirement of Camille Faza, maintenance at Cumberland High School, effective April 1st. Camille was with us uh, for 19 years. And Monique Saunders, paraprofessional at BF Norton Elementary School. That would be effective June 30th of 2016. And Monique was with us for 16 years of service. Pleasure um, of the committee on the retirements. So moved, Madam Chair. Thank you for the service. Motion by Mr. DeModica. Second. Second by Mr. Denon. Any further discussion? So Mr. Faza and I have a, an experience with a motor vehicle um, from a few years ago, and I knew him only just, you know, to recognize him, but brought us a little closer together after that day. <laughs> <laughs> I wish both of them well. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? That motion carries 4-0. Thank you. I have two leaves for you uh, tonight. I request the advice and consent of the school committee on the FMLA leave of Kayla Lewis, kindergarten teacher at BF Norton Elementary School, with an anticipated leave date of May 17th, 2016, through the remainder of the school year, and Nora Swartout, school psychologist at North Cumberland Middle School, with an anticipated leave date of May 23rd, 2016, through the remainder of the school year. Pleasure of the committee on the leave of absence. So moved, Madam Chair. Motion by Mr. DeModica. Second. Second by Mr. Salvatore. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? And that motion carries 4-0. Thank you. And lastly, I have an appointment for you. Um, I'm requesting the advice and consent of the school committee on the appointment of Stephen Gorman, PEAPE -E health teacher at North Cumberland Middle School, effective March 21st, 2016. Um, Mr. Gorman is already a PE teacher with us. I, I uh, put the back up. He's actually a point six already um, uh, due to some additional sections. Um, uh, Ms. Coughlin is requesting that he needs to go to a point seven because of that the Strive program. They need some additional support, and so we're requesting an additional point one. And so I'm bringing it to you um, f just for that addition. So we're bringing it's that additional appointment. He's already an employee with us, so it's just that additional point one. Yeah, point one. That so makes sense. anyway, I request that advice and consent of that appointment. Pleasure of the committee on the appointment of the point one. So moved. Motion by Mr. Denon. Second. Second by Mr. Demotica. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? And that motion carries 4-0. Thank you so much. Thank you. You would think by this time of the year, you know, it would all kind of settle out. It still <laughs> kind of bubbles up. All right, school committee comments, school liaison reports. Anyone? Mr. Demotica. Just, just one, I just want to thank the um, 
boys hockey team. We had a great banquet this past Sunday. Uh, Mr. Mitchell was there with Matt Campanelli and Mark Fiorello, and we had a good time, and uh, they just do a good, good job. Thanks. Yes. Anyone else? You know, I don't think I skipped any items this time. No. I think it's Mr. Fiorello. And we <laughs> do up, not have, the minutes. have executive session. And I don't know how we're going to adjourn because I'll make he, a motion to adjourn. Mr. Denon, thank you. Do you have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Salvatore. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? And we are adjourned on a 4-0 vote at 8-15. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>